Welcome to the second part of my How I Make My Video Guide. Um, if you missed the first part, I'll put a link in the description and maybe a link on screen somewhere where you can watch part one, which is more focused to Let's Plays. This part is focused on How I Make Silly Summary. This will be useful for people who... This is more of people who want to make videos that will probably include like script writing or something similar along the lines of the last summer, I don't know. But hopefully it'll be helpful in some way to people or just satisfy curiosity in case people are curious how I actually just make these videos, who knows. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the first thing that I have to focus on is choosing what I want to do a silly summary on. Um, this the process of choosing what to do a silly summary on is quite a bit different than how I have to go about choosing an LP. So while I have focuses such as like length and how much I like or dislike a game when it comes to LP, the main things that I focus on for silly summary are is the thing that I want to talk about good material for silly summary and what stuff can I work with. Basically, good material for silly summary, it can really be anything um, as long as I feel I can talk about it unseriously and kind of joke about it, like I do with the FNAF series. I think the FNAF series is very good material for silly summary just because of how I feel about that series. That it, it, I feel it's a series that really shouldn't just be taken that seriously. Because most people are, are, are like, oh, gotta be a hardcore fan, this is a very serious series here. And then you've got the hairs are like, it's seriously the worst thing ever. It's like, both of you, both sides, calm down, we do, just chill out, have a bit of a laugh with it. Um, uh, and for what stuff I can work with, that's like, well, what is there in... What is there to talk about, you know, the characters, the, the plot, um, is there certain like gameplay mechanics or something, just stuff like that I need to think about talking about. I generally like to find a balance, um, sometimes I get worried, like the Honeypot one I remember I was worried I would uh, spend too much of that episode talking about the characters, but that was kind of like, I, each character had their little bit where I talked about them and then I focused on other stuff such as the gameplay. There's a, it can vary from different things what I can focus on talking about because, you know, there might be something that's heavily character focused or um, there might be something that has a lot of plot to talk about. It really just depends. Now the next stage that comes after deciding what I want to do a solo summary on is the writing down ideas. After I've thought, hey, maybe I could do a solo summary on whatever, usually I have one or two ideas if, because when, again, bringing FNAF as an example, it was something that I just had things like the whole way uh, mock name thing like the Barney Jr. and the Quacker to do. Those were things I already had in my head. So generally if I already have one or two ideas maybe that's something I can get going uh, and then I'll probably spend a few days just maybe thinking about the game. Maybe I'll, well I say game but uh, it doesn't always need to be a game but let's like a show I'll rewatch it maybe. <laughs> um, I, I, I say that but then I remember that there was um, Rosario Vampire. I I rewatched like maybe two episodes and then uh, I had to like just skim through parts because I did not, my sanity was not holding out to watch that again. Too much torture. Um, so I'll like skim through or watch through the shows. Um, games I'll maybe replay bits again. But generally the main thing is I'll try to think about whatever I'm writing about, uh, try and remember it, because, um, like, I know, I, know, um, I had uh, to remember Catherine quite a bit, it'd been, like, when I did the silly summary of Catherine, it had been quite a while since I'd last even thought about that game, so, um, you know, I just had to remind myself of certain mechanics and stuff. But yeah, basically make sure I know stuff about whatever I'm talking about, 
uh, and do and sometimes refresh my memory a bit and um, write down ideas and who knows sometimes I can come up with extra ideas while refreshing my memory so and as an example of the ideas list here is um, the idea list that I have for the uh, Kantai collection so summary or boat so I was putting my sort of um, subtitle thing uh, and you, you know, you know the one that's at the start of like every silly summary episode. That's just something I do as a nice touch. Yeah, I always just like to put that in. Uh, so as you can see, it's really the ideas are just random things. You can all show off Leaf Drag's question to start. Show burn and love clip, and then that will be my line. How many boats do you know? They can do a triple front flip. Obviously, when I get to the actual script making part, I'll um, make sure to plan it out and make it more organised. Uh, Bismarck Club. In fact, now I realise I'm gonna have to like upload this video before I make this or else it'll be spoilers. Uh, got the rabbit boats at the end. I know I'm not actually gonna spoil the end bit there, even if this is uploaded before. Because <laughs> I, got, I got an idea for the end and I don't want to spoil it. So once I think I've got enough ideas written down or enough good ideas, because sometimes there'll be ideas that I'll put in and then I might decide not to put them into the final episode or put them in when I'm making this. But once I've got enough good ideas, I'll start organising the idea notes uh, to sort of make the script from that. So uh, here's the script. Um, even though it says silly so many ideas, uh, there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is the script. As you can uh, see, um, it's a bit more organised uh, than the um, idea list was. Actually, I'm not fully done with this script, so I might need to make changes to that. Because that's one thing I do. I look over the script and. Um, and you know, just make sure it's all ready and I'm comfortable with it before I begin. Sometimes I'll even uh, read. I know it might sound stupid, but read. If you ever get a chance to when you're doing something like this, take some time to read your script out um, and practice it because uh, it helps. Now, not everything in Silly Summary is actually scripted. Um, for example, back in the Five Nights at Freddy's one, the um, typo error of um, No Super Mario Bros. 2 Freddy, or it was supposed to be No Super Mario Bros. 2 Freddy, I forgot the why, and uh, I didn't realise until the last second, um, because I was in a day and didn't check it through. Um, total amateur mistake. But I kind of just played it off and I thought, you know what? It was it was actually kind of amusing, so I decided to just leave it in like that. Another example of stuff not being scripted, and actually kind of a better example because this wasn't a mistake thing. Um, the sort of Zygarde rant from the Senran Kagura video, where I was going on about uh fifty percent ninja girls, and then I kind of just brought Zygarde into it. Uh, that was a last second decision. That was. N Zygarde and Pokemon was not part of the script at all, um, but while I was recording I just kind of thought, hey, it, it, I don't know why, it just kind of came into my mind, so I paused the recording, um, well, I, I kind of got to a good cut-off point, I stopped the recording and then just thought, hey, i got to just fit this wee Zygarde run in. Uh, that was, the run wasn't even scripted at all, I just kind of no, the gist of what I wanted to say was Zygarde being no better than a ninja girl and I just kind of let myself go with it. I don't, I don't know, it's maybe not the smartest idea to do something like that, but sometimes just a last second addition like that, if that pops into your head, you can add it. In fact, this is probably something I should mention is... I mentioned this briefly with the Let's Play video about um, how I record with screencast o -matic, and I'm going to just go over it again for people who didn't watch that video or don't want to watch that video. But with screencast o -matic, I can pause the recording and make cuts. Usually you'll know a cut when, um, in fact, you know what, my video, I'll just play the video. It's muted so the commentary doesn't get anywhere with this. Um, if I 
Gip ahead, like so. You see, you see it a lot in silly summary if you watched it. How I get like different clubs. Pretty much every time the image changes or the or there's like a wee video clip that comes up, that's pretty much me pausing the recording and cutting so I can cut out like wee bits and then I put all the wee bits together. Um. Again, in the way that I mentioned the Let's Play video, actually, maybe it might be better for people to watch the Let's Play video because that actually covers quite a bit. But yeah, basically, editing the video, putting it into the clips and then putting all the clips together the way I mentioned in the Let's Play video, basically, that's how... Uh, I cover, that's basically how I make Silly Summary, just putting all these bits together. In fact, here's um, pretty much all the clips of the Rosario plus Vampire episode. Um, it's basically, the reason I do it in small clips is if I make a mistake at one part, you know, if I was recording it all in one go, then I would pretty much have to start the whole thing again. This is something I learned back, uh, like during my first through, my first few um, silly summaries like Catherine and Five Nights at Freddy's, where I tried to record the whole thing in one go. No, doing it a small part of the time. So you know, if I mess up it somewhere around about say here in the middle, I would, I only need to record that part again. Uh, it basically means I can spread out my schedule so it's like one time, you know, if I've only got a few minutes to spare on so I could record uh, a wee bit, maybe part one or part two, you know, just two two wee clips or if I've got a lot of time I can maybe work on like get ten clips as, uh, in a single day. It's Basically, by doing it in small clips, I can be very flexible with how I work, if that makes any sense. I feel I'm maybe making this a bit too complex, but yeah, small clips is a good way to go and then just edit them all together uh, with the YouTube editor once I'm done. So the only other thing I don't think I've covered with Stella Summary is how I go about getting, like, clips and sounds. So basically, because my laptop um, sucks at capturing sounds usually from the computer. What I have to do is, um, oh, I am, I'm not even holding the camera straight. Let me just, uh, get the folder up, silly summary. In fact, no, wait, I have a clips folder. Video clip, here we go. So this is a collection of video clips I keep, uh, some I've used, some, uh, uh, some of these I just keep for the sake of I might use them, um, and now there's a mixture because um, sometimes when I get a clip it will be like good old uh, Zelda CDI King here, in which case what I'll do for a clip like this is pretty much um, so my webcam here, which barely works, has a microphone on top of it, so I'll plug this in and then I'll plug my headphones in, put the headphones on the microphone like so and it'll capture the sound while the screencast-o-matic captures the clip and that's usually how that goes. Sound is captured, video footage is captured. In some cases, um, Usually, if I just need a sound clip, see, if I don't need a video clip, I just need a sound effect. Yes, I use the DS and just collect sound effects that way, because I have the uh, Freedom sound effect that I used in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video, whereas this one... By far my favourite sound effect that I've ever gotten for anything. Um, and I'm not going to risk showing others off just in case spoilers because it's the same kind of thing I just might use them for a video but I might not. Um, in fact, actually, let's, let's talk about it because uh, Freedom Foxy, as I have titled the clip, 
this was a clip that I didn't even get off the internet or anything. Um, obviously, because unlike CDI King, it's not like some famous thing. So, people will be wondering, well, how do I make something like this? I've, I've got the sound clip, right? Basically, what I did, recorded a clip of a slow-mo, uh, a slow-mo Foxy Jump Scare. And while the clip was playing, DS held it up about here with full volume. Played the Freedom clip while it was recording and I got the clip and the sound. So that's how I go about making clips for people who want to try that of their own. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, I think, about that. In fact, you can have a quick look here at how just all these uh, parts were not loaded. It's Like I said, it's the same as uh, I do with the LPs, but Silla Summary tends to have a lot more since it's just shorter clips, but shorter clips are really quicker to upload again. Uh, be sure to just keep them all in private so that no one can see them. There's one view on this one, Octagon. Um, this is actually an example of what I was saying earlier in the video about ideas being shoved in, because this is not, if you remember seeing the clips back there um, earlier, Octagon was not included at all, but this was... Um, Actually, something I intended to put in, but I forgot about. Uh, and it's got one view because I had to edit and cut that clip down using the trim tool. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd show that off because, you know, just for people to see it in progress, that's kind of the part, a part of this thing. The only thing I think I've missed out on in the, in this, uh, Video guide is the thumbnail, but it's pretty much the same thing as the other video. You get the um, sizes um, of the thumbnail, and it's pretty much the same kind of. Well, not the same kind of thing, it's actually much simpler than the LP ones because pretty much I put silly summary along the top, picture of whatever game, uh, and then the sort. Just, I don't know, I just like putting this sort of subtitle thingy, so, you know, we've got Silly Summer Relationship Puzzle with Sheep, The Five Nights of Jump Scares. Uh, you'll also notice that sometimes I like to um, change the colour and font of the subtexty thing for the thumbnail, just to try and make it a bit more eye-catching and stuff. Uh, or sometimes I can be plain and boring with popping them honeys. Uh, the fifty percent ninja girls, which uh, the picture or the cover got a bit messed up in that, but I think it was still fine. And then, uh, well, I guess I can talk a bit more about ones like this. This is a very rare case because um, it was because Rosario Vampire was like the end of twenty fifteen special. Basically, I pull up an image of the uh, title thing. Um, I basically just edited the took the whatever the title of this episode, the something in Vampire Away, I would replace it with only so. And I made the silly summary pink! Because pink, pretty co colour, I, I don't know, whatever. It was made, and it was just a bit fancier because, you know, the end of your special, it had to be fancier. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that covers everything in the silly summary process of how I make, well, silly summaries. Um, if there was anything you feel that I missed, then put in the comments below. Also, if you have any sort of additional questions regarding video and YouTube making stuff, uh, put that in the comments as well because I wouldn't mind covering additional topics in other videos. Um, because, yeah, I could totally, I'd be totally be up for covering that. Even if there was something I covered in this or the last video and you feel that you, if you want me to go more in depth about it, then yeah, just put that down in the comment and I'll do that, make a wee mini series out of this guide thing. Um, but so far, I don't think there's anything I've missed out on, but if there is, comment and I can make a video about it, even if it's just something you want more in-depth stuff on. Uh, so yeah, if this helped you, leave a like, and 
If you enjoy these videos and my silly summaries, then uh, why not considering subscribing if you haven't already, or uh, should I be saying subscribe because that's the silly summary thing, I don't know. Either way, regardless, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you.